Hi guys, Olga Sobi here. Today I am doing a paint kiss feather and I'm working with a completely new mixture for me. I'm working, I mixed a deco art pouring medium with the glue and all of my colors for feather are going to be metallic. I'm pretty excited to see how this mixture is gonna work out. So for feather, I always make sure that my surface is leveled it's very important for this technique and it's important for any technique but for feather it's almost like critical and for this technique it's very important that the cup has a lip this way when i pour them together connected uh, the stream of paint it doesn't go down the side of the cup and it goes straight down and connects in the kiss all right so First, I'm gonna add my colors and I mixed four colors and this consistency is quite thick. It's like uh, honey, but like warm honey, but it's a bit thicker than what I'm normally working with, but yeah, we'll see how this works. This color, I mixed metallic white and gold. It's like creamy, very soft color. I like it. I don't know, maybe this consistency is going to be a bit too thick for feather, but maybe it's gonna be just perfect. And the second cup is just the color of negative space. Okay, I'm like super messy today. So this is a wooden panel and the sides, I also want to have them in black, but for now I just tape them and I'll just take care of them once the surface is dry. Okay, well I have a drip of gold, should have removed it before. Okay. It's the easiest to go in with your fingers and just do it. Okay, so um, I know that I'm gonna travel my feather like this way. And it's very important to not have much paint in the center, otherwise your feather is gonna spread too much. So I like just to push paint and make like a bed for a feather. It's gonna level out, so don't worry if it doesn't look very pretty just yet. All right, let's get started with the feather. I really hope that this paint is not too, too thick. Okay. Yeah, I see due to the thicker consistency, the paint doesn't spread as much, but it worked pretty well. I see the feathering on the edges. I know it's gonna spread out a little. Okay, I just wanna add a little bit paint 
on the perimeter of the feather to help it spread a little because right now I think it's too thin. I'm a bit scared to tilt it. But let's see. Okay, it's nice. Okay, last step, my favorite part. Okay, I feel like I want to go one more time. And pull the colors a little more. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be back to show you how it dried, but what I'm gonna do for next couple hours, I'm gonna be coming back to it and I'm gonna be wiping the sides to make sure I don't have a paint dripping down the sides because it can actually pull the paint from the top, which is gonna lead to uh, feather stretching enormously and I don't want that. So I'm gonna be just going there with my finger and removing any drips. I will be back soon. All right, guys, so there we have it dry. Um, first of all, it has dried pretty well. The feather didn't spread, but the surface is not perfectly uh, smooth and leveled. Uh, the um, whole negative space is full of like small dimples, not the dimples, like small uh, holes and pimples. I don't even know how to call them. Anyways, I think it's from the air in paint because the mixture was much thicker uh, compared to regular one. I think the air just didn't have the chance to rise to the surface, even though I torched it. So yeah, this is not very cool, but I think the layer of resin will fix that. Also, there is one really strange thing happened. So can you see how it crazed, but only on the edges of the feather? only along this and this line here you know what i think it worked out really well with the feather like it sort of shapes it out and it actually looks very cool like i didn't do it it just that's just how the paint dried but i don't know if i would like this effect with any other technique but with feather it works good so overall i think these two worked pretty well together but the mixture was a little too thick so i'm gonna be adding some water next time and yeah look at that i have almost a matching feather on my shirt. All right, guys, happy boring, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.